This is so cool. I have no to do items on my app right now. Now check this out. I have karate class at 11 p.m. today. Now I've got a to do item. I'll open this. Now as you can see, it has uh, registered the to do item in my app. And I'm giving out this workflow for free. So keep watching. So this is completely a passion project of mine. So what I'll be doing is I'll leave you the template uh, in the description. So I want you to download this file from the description and I want you to click on these three dots and import from file and choose the file which I just gave you. And now you have the whole uh, workflow. I'll tell you how to activate each and every node here and I'll be doing it from scratch for you guys also. So first of all, let's uh, go to Telegram. Uh, I already have a credential, but I'll be making a new credential for you and I'll tell you how. I'll just go make a new credential here real quick. So in this, I need an uh, access token here and that I'll tell you how to get it. First of all, go to your telegram. You can access it from your phone or your uh, web. I'm here. I'm using here from my web and search for bot father. And this is what, what will come up. Just open it. Uh, and what you have to do here is hit slash and type new bot. Yeah. So, uh, we have to call it some name. So I'll call it an Nathan demo YT bot. So we named a bot. Now we'll have to name it a username and I'll uh, do the same. Okay. That username is taken. So let's try something else. Maybe a number or something. Three, four, five, six, some random name. Now we have got a new bot ready. So uh, this is the access token here. You just have to click on it and uh, you can come back on the NATN and just paste it. Now save it. It will show it's uh, connected successfully. Now we just have to open the bot by clicking here and click start here. Now we can test if the bot is working or not. We just have to execute this one uh, node because we have to see if it's uh, working or not just click on play here and uh, just go and click just go and type hello or any message here so as you can see we have got this text hello so we know that it's working right now now let's move ahead we don't have to do anything here we can leave it as it is the rules uh this fetch voice message uh, you can just choose the account you just made in here for telegram you can do it all so in the last node also you can come and choose the account you just made and uh, for open ai you must uh, go to the open ai's api platform and uh, create a new api here you may need to recharge your credits uh, but it's very cheap i'll show you how much my usage is i've been using this app for so long and I have not spent more than a dollar. So as you can see, I have used this app for so long. Uh, I, I mean, for transcribing, it doesn't take much fees. So that's why, as you can see here, I've only spent 30 cents even after using this long. So you have to come here and you have to make your API key. For that, you just have to hit create new key. Just uh, select the project and add in demo. Then just create the secret key. You can copy this key and paste it here in the NADN workflow. You can create new credential and you just have to paste it here and you just have to save it. That will also connect your OpenAI. Now you just have to go to the OpenAI chat model, open this. This is already configured for you, you don't have to do anything. Basic LLM chain, this is also already configured for you. You don't have to change anything here. This is very uh, carefully crafted for you guys because usually most of the to-do uh, workflows, they don't help you book your due time because there's a UTC problem. This I have specifically made for Indian Standard Time. But if your time zone is something else, go to the system message, copy it and uh, just take it to an LLM and just tell the LLM that this system prompt is designed for Indian standard time, change it to my time zone and give your time zone there and paste your system prompt there. The LLM will come back with your system prompt and you can use that to go ahead. Now, once all of this is done, last one thing which you have to do is you have to connect your to-doist. 
So your to-do list account, what you have to do is, this is the same. You just have to uh, paste an API key for that. You just have to go to to-do list. And uh, you have to go to to-do list. Once you log into to-do list, you just have to go to settings. And here you can go to integrations. And in integration, go and click on developer. In developer, this is where you can uh, copy your API token from here. Just have to copy your API token by clicking this and going back and pasting it here. I've already did it, so I'll just close it. Rest of rest, everything is configured for you. Okay, let's execute another workflow. Let me just go ahead and give it a voice comment. Uh, now I'll ask it to uh, book me a karate session at uh, 6 p.m. tomorrow. Book me a karate session uh, 6 p.m. tomorrow. So it's running now and uh, a karate session has been booked. So see tomorrow at 6 p.m. the karate session has been booked. So it's all good. And uh, let me try one last time. I have boxing classes today at uh, 5 p.m. So it's running that. See today at 5 p.m. So 5 p.m. is already uh up so that's why it's showing it in red so that is it the workflow is per, uh, working perfectly you can just use this and uh you know it's just a passion project but the people who are really busy and uh they are on the go they can use this for sure so thanks for watching and i try to keep uh, making the small automations which can make your daily life easier so make sure to subscribe uh so you see more of this